Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist for our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description. Save 30% off everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Okay, Eric, thank you, Eric. He wants to know what PCO risers do you recommend for mining and should they be miles powered? SATA powered isn't 75 watts like the PCO slots. The cards don't take most of their power from the slots. I am personally not bothered by it. It depends on how good your power supply is. And it depends upon whether it's a single rail and kicks power out across all the wires and how many extension cables and how many splitters you're using. Everything within reason. I have powered video cards using SATA to PCI Express power connectors before. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. How much is it pulling? How good is the power supply? How good are the cables? It depends. Um, the, PC, the, the, the risers that use the six pin PCI Express connectors are better in that regard, so long as they're connected to PCI Express power cables from your, from your power supply. But if all you're using is SATA to six pin adapters and plugging them in, I mean, the shape of the connector doesn't mean anything. It's... He says Molex. Again, if you've got a 1200 watt single rail power supply that's kicking all of its power out to all of the connectors and it's a quality power supply, a good example is the 1200 watt dark power uh, Pro 11 or whatever it was that I recently did an unboxing video on. Oh yeah, that one. It has a bunch of PCI Express power connectors and it has a bunch of SATA connectors. If you physically look at the wires, I'm not entirely sure they're not all the same wires. It's overbuilt and over-engineered because it's a $300 power supply. And so would I be worried about running risers off of those cables? No. Look at your cables. Does it Do, do they look like they could handle it? And, and are you... Are you running three risers off of one cable? Or are you using four splitters and trying to run 12 risers off of one SATA cable? The, see what I mean? There's, yep. It's everything in moderation. Go easy on it and leave yourself some margin and don't push everything to the max. Add another power supply and split the load. Here's a fun one. Yep. Do you want to run, if you do have two power supplies, do you make sure to run the risers and the cards off the same power supply together? Like if you've got 12 cards. Now I say this not being a rig expert. I've, I've not built, I've built one mining rig ever. And that was two years ago. So, I mean, I'm not Mr. Rig Expert. I'm just using logical deduction to come up with a reasonable answer, thinking about current in wires, mm -hmm. wire gauge, yep. how power supplies are designed. Is it a single rail or multi-rail design? Which we talked about. And are you stressing any components near 80 to 90%? I don't like to push components that are used 24-7 to, 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 to 80 or 90%. Because you're using the capacitors and the transformers, you're using everything in the cables to their electrical max over time, you know, it's not good for them. If you're if you're pulling 60%, it'll probably last until the heat death of the universe. Not really, but it'll last longer than it matters. Um, I recently did an upgrade from a 650-watt power supply on my personal machine at home, there's a video on the channel for this, there is. to a 1200 watt power supply. Now that was a straight power 11, or straight power 10, whatever. It was a be quiet power supply. And several people in the comments said, why did you go to 1200 watts? Uh, Nvidia says that 750 is recommended. That seems wasteful. Well, I had a 650 and it wasn't enough. Nope, it wasn't. So going to 750 seems right on the edge. Furthermore, recommendations are just that recommendations. What's the rest of your computer? Mm -hmm. 
What is it? Are you using your CPU? Is it is it an i7? Is it an i9? Is it a Ryzen 9? Are you using both the CPU and GPU at the same time? How much RAM do you have? How many SSDs do you have? And do you really want to be pulling 90% of your power supply? Now, would I have gone out and bought a 1,000 watt unit for that? Sure, 1,000 watts fine. I did have the 1,200 on the shelf, so why not? But by putting in a 1,200 watt power supply, let's say it's pulling 700, 750. I'm running right in the center of the efficiency curve, getting maximum efficiency. Yep. And I'm pulling way below maximum power. And that power supply should last me a long time. It will run quiet. It will run cool. And it will be very, very dependable. Mm -hmm. For what? An extra 40 or 50 bucks? I'm plugging a $2,000 video card in. Exactly. Why are we having this conversation? The power supply that I put in there, the 1200 watt unit, is 249 on Amazon. The lower power unit is like 199. Yeah. Why are we having this discussion? It's a 3090. You buy the 1200 watt. Would you complain about the $200 cost to get your oil changed at the Ferrari dealership if you owned a Ferrari? No. Are you missing the point if that bothers you? Yes. Same difference. If you have 12 video cards, add another power supply and a splitter. Maybe three power supplies. Maybe. One for six cards, one for the other six cards, and one to run all the risers. And then you have an utterly dependable system that will never be stressed. That's true. What's another power supply cost versus what the 12 cards are worth? I mean, if you put 12 3070s on there, you have $12,000 worth of cards. Stick an extra 750 watt power supply on there and just use it to run the risers. Mm -hmm. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and size of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly. They have something for every type of person, not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices as well. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist in the video description, so be sure to check those out. We also have a special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off everything using discount code TECHDEALS using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hours during our marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all your gaming chair and desk needs.